Going live. Are you receiving me? Let's play some music at first while we set up. Just gonna post up the uh, links to um gonna post up the links to uh on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm here with Twyla, my lovely lady friend, who is uh gives me someone to bounce off to, who's uh struggling with her chair in the background. Um What's up people? Alright, and I'll let that play for a minute while we get ready to go. Check the live chat more often today, just because uh, some people uh, chimed in in the live chat last night, and yeah, we were a little bit tipsy, and I kept forgetting to check it. So I want to make sure I actually uh, make sure that I actually try to keep up with the chat, because I know people like it whenever uh, whenever you actually uh, interact with them.
up on Facebook and we're ready to go. Ghost. Are you? Yeah. I hear you. I'm good at that too. Don't remember mm. that. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. I'm not good at it because I just the disappear. last the last girl I tried to ghost, she just kept like wheedling her way back into my life, and that ended badly. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do that. I won't ghost you. I promise. No, no, no. I'm starting to like how these. Tell me a deal breaker every day, tell me a deal breaker every day. <laughs> it's just a joke. Alright, tell me about one ghost on me, bro. I ain't gonna get a shit, I promise. Alright, I tagged you and me. Beside me, where it's cold as shit. Do you want to switch sheets? Because I'm like having a hot pot here. I think I'm getting nervous because you're gonna make me talk in here. I forgot to I forgot to uh, tag uh, Donald and me. You know, I'm gonna have to re-retweet that and tag Donald in it so that he retweets it. It's not yours, it's mine. No, it is mine. Okay. That is mine. No, it was just super loud, and I was like, I, I don't know. People like the last one was so low key, and then all of a sudden. Alright, delete that tweet. And I'll uh, post it and then tag Donald in it. Yeah, you can ghost me nowhere. I will not come to look for you. I'm not gonna, I am not going to ghost you, I promise. I'm, I'm already a phantom. I don't have to ghost anybody. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Put out that tweet. You got a favorite? Mm -hmm. One. I'll share it with you. That's okay. I got scores. Alright. So that Twyla's gonna have to talk loud. Get loud on a motherfucker. The door's closed. I know you know how to get it loud when the door's closed. Alright. First off, let me go in. And, uh, shut off the, uh, sound cloud. Is that I got my Brutus the Badass reference up because there's some stuff like his belt that I have to like double check on whenever I'm inking it. All right. Now this is a piece that I started before I went to jail and uh, yeah I never got a chance to finish it and the original file is on my computer which I don't currently have access to but I have this tablet and I figured I've been getting used to drawing and inking on it, so I wanted to um, try finishing off this piece uh, just using the tablet. That layer is locked. Let me move that up out of the way so I don't accidentally hit it. I believe we've already been on for 10 minutes. Already? Yeah, that's how long it takes me to fucking set shit up. How many people's on there? Uh, nobody yet, because nobody loves me. 
Oh, and, uh, everybody hates me, and I might as well Just go eat worms. worms long, yeah. Cat, short, cat, so. um, last night we attempted to do this, and of course I accidentally put the um, put the uh, image in um, vertical mode instead of horizontal mode. So we had a vertical video the entire time, which is a sin against YouTube, I understand. Um, so this time I'm actually going to do it right. I also got some cheap beer sitting right beside the cold ass open window on the windowsill. Um, last night we were trying to talk, well first off, much love and infinite mojo to everybody listening and super profundo on the early eve of your days. This is Bad Ankle Bill, uh, you probably don't know me and even if you do know me you probably don't care. Uh, but I am joined today by Twyla, my very good lovely lady friend. Um, who I've been spending a lot of time with and who seems to enjoy my company, God knows why. Um, so say hello, Twyla. Hey, what's up? How are you guys doing today? They can't answer you back. Oh, I know, so what yeah. the fuck? Well, if why anybody, can't they? Well, if somebody was in the chat, they could. That's why I like, yeah, I want to keep the chat open just in case people actually do comment simply mm -hmm. because, uh, yeah, people like it whenever you interact with them in the chat. Um, yeah, we talked a little bit about um, the Comics Matter with your boy Zach video about um, boring comic art. And we covered a lot of the stuff last night, but um, yeah, it just I think it just comes down to um, people kind of leaning on very easy digital crutches like um, being overly dependent on reference to the point of like tracing reference and not knowing how to make it interesting whenever you trace it. Like I, I often trace right over photographs to do stuff and I always know what to add like in terms of like angles and curves just to make the image pop and make it you know in so it doesn't look like it was just traced reference plus in that specific image that he added as a sample was very obviously somebody squatting down and taking a, a, a reference of them squatting down and then just using that as a mid-air Spider-Man reference which didn't work at all um, even if that was, well, that is if they even like took the reference themselves, they might have just found a, uh, an image of somebody squatting with their arm out. Um, I don't know, the only, the only thing that I didn't really get into last night was, um, the over-specification, um, that you find in, I guess, all fields nowadays, but especially art, whenever an artist finds a, uh, finds a niche that they can fall into... They, they don't want to kind of break out of that niche uh, just because of the fact that there's um, it works for them and you know as soon as uh, it, it's so hard to you know make money with art that as soon as you find something that works people are kind of afraid to break out of that mold because then you know will people accept me doing something different and I don't know I've always kind of gotten uh, been a jack of all trades to a certain extent um, and uh it just whenever it comes to art, I've I've tried to be able to do like several different kinds of art, several different styles, different uh, techniques like di like digital painting, traditional stuff, you know, uh, traditional uh, work, uh, including traditional painting. Comic book art is kind of like the the foundation of all of it, but I branched out to there to do more cart cartooning stuff with uh, Thunder Chickens and uh, sort of anthropomorphic stuff. Even though like um, a lot of those things weren't my strengths at first. Um, like, uh, I remember back when, like, drawing backgrounds wasn't a strength, um, it was kind of, like, one of my weak points in my art, but, um, yeah, I just, I studied backgrounds and studied drawing backgrounds until, like, now people often comment on my backgrounds and say, like, oh my god, how do you, you know, how do you draw backgrounds like that? Because I couldn't at one point, so I just studied the hell out of it. Um, so I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, over-special, uh, over-specialization in art, um, whenever it comes to, um, uh, falling into a certain niche, a certain category or a certain style and not wanting to break out of it, um, for fear of people not wanting to follow what you're doing. The only example that I can think of, uh, right off the top of my head that, of, of an artist that doesn't do that is Scotty Young. He very much went from having this very clean kind of suedo graffiti style, um, 
to very rough uh, brush inked uh, style cartooning um, just because he has that solid ca cartooning foundation but he's broken out of what his original style was I remember back when he was posting on like the pencil jack and digital webbing boards um, his stuff back then was so completely different from what he's doing now but that's just because he did he you know actually dared to try different things and you know he'd get bored doing the same thing all the time and so he'd want to try something new but I don't think it has a lot to do with a lot of the stuff that um, uh, your boy Zach mentioned in that video. It seemed like he was just treading some of like the same territory and playing to his audience. And like I, he's on my Facebook, I might even send him this vid. Um, and just because I'm not, um, I, you know, I'm not trying to like criticize him just for the sake of criticizing him. Just like I think as an artist, I can say a few things about bland art and how to not make bland art. Mm. I had to cobble this together from the previous snapshots that I sent um, Donald whenever I originally started working on it so um, it's actually a combination of the pencils and where I started inking but I wanted to preserve um, at least some of what I did in the inks or at least work from there and, and, and go on top of it but um, I'm gonna start uh, just going in and putting in some inks and make sure that pencil layer is locked because otherwise you'll start inking in your pencil layer and then uh, about 15 minutes later you realize you've been inking in your pencil layer this whole time and that's like wasted wasted work um so Twyla what is on your mind today <laughs> I don't think you want to know <laughs> I do now that you say that yeah, I actually do okay well what do you want to talk about today I don't know I, I don't really I'm just I don't know I'm here to listen to you I'm here to listen to me. Yeah. I, that's that's a that's a bad place to be. You know, I don't think it's anybody. It's not really. It's not really. I don't think anybody wants to uh, just hear me babble about what's going on in my mind. I do. I like hearing you just babble. What else do I got to do? Um. You tell these people about what a small town we live in. Huh? Oh yeah, it's a tiny ass, tiny ass town called New Cumberland, West Virginia. One stoplight in the whole town. Yeah, one stoplight. Um. There's more, uh, I don't know. So there's, 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 I don't even think there's, I don't even know if there's any homeless people in New Cumberland. That's how small it is. Like, if somebody is homeless, they, they, they go to They actually have weird. a halfway house here now. They do? Yeah, I guess down there in the valley, they turn the old church into a halfway house. I don't, I don't think I'm, that's, that's surprising. Or at least that's, you know what I mean? I could see a halfway house being here. I'm kind of starting off slow, just because... This seems to be running a little bit slow, but um, once I get into the swing of things, it should start going a little bit smoother. I'm still getting used to this tablet um, and getting used to uh, not just the functions of the, the, the programs, the software. I'm using Autodesk uh, Sketchbook. Um, but also getting used to sort of the tactile feel of... Uh, the uh, stylus pen, which a lot of people don't, I think, don't really take into account, especially when working digitally, because different stylus pens can have different feels to them. I'm gonna go in in a, you know what? I'll wait to do that. Um, different, yeah, different, uh, different styluses and uh, different surfaces have a different sort of tactile feel to them uh, when you're working on them, and whenever I start any inking. Uh, in any way, I always start with a very, very thick brush uh, to do the bottom sides. Um, as uh, I believe it was uh, Kerry Randolph put it uh, in a tweet one time, I like my uh, I like my inks the way I like my girls with fat bottoms. Um, so I definitely uh, dig the fat bottom inking style because <laughs> it implies uh, a bit of shadow. Just in the line art, uh, it implies uh, some depth. Um, if I start inking on that arm, I'm going to have to. And some of this is me literally trying to go back and figure out, okay, what was I trying to do in this little scribble here? So some of it is literally me trying to decode what... Uh, you know, it's been a while since I started this piece, and I, uh, I want to make sure that I get the details right on this character. 
because uh, it's a very fun character to draw. I like watching you draw. So you were talking about last night, because these people love political stuff, I avoid it as much as possible. You were talking about last night, and we were a bit drunk. I keep hitting the undo button, I'm fucking committing sins. I'm just undoing myself to death. Why am I running so slow? Let me see why. Let me see if I have, uh... You can shut that now. Oh, I have chrome on. Yeah, but it's got my... You know, let me... I'll close chrome. And if I bring it back up, it'll be there. Uh, you were, you were talking about somebody, uh, that you know that, like, up and left their entire life just to go follow Bernie Sanders. Yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. Oh, well, it was my it's my niece's parents. Um, yeah, they just wanted to jump on the bat or on the wagon trail and like go on campaign for Bernie Sanders, and they left four underage children for you know just for the rest of the family to take care of, I guess. And uh, I think it was a stupid move, but that's just me. I mean, he didn't become president, so I'd feel pretty stupid at this point. Are they still following him? <clears throat> They're ready to jump back on. He's getting ready to run again um, this next term. And, um, yeah, they're, right, they're probably making signs right now for him. Now, we were talking about how, like, that's sort of akin to, like, back in the day, people would, like, uproot their lives and go follow the Grateful Dead. Um... Do you think it's weird that now... She loved the Grateful Dead, too. Yeah, but do you think it's weird that now, like, people sort of have the same... I mean, there's not even... It's not even like you're... There's no drugs involved. Like, it's not like outside a Bernie Sanders rally, there's going to be guys going, like, acid, <laughs> you vitamin never know. K. You never know. They probably... Got your shrooms, Molly. There, they've been out there so long, like, they're getting into the weed business, investing money, um... One of the dude, he, or one, or her new husband, he um, he's a photographer and takes pictures of like beautiful buds all day long. Like that's what he does now. I could see that being an enjoyable, uh, enjoyable lifestyle. Just yeah. photographing buds that's all day. What he does. Me and Twyla. Well, is it okay to talk about that? I think oh, I think yeah. it is. When you're talking about pot, that we love pot. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're both avid pot smokers. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the, um, I, I, uh, I even, um, there's certain young people in my life that, uh, maybe, uh, started smoking too young, but they're interested in the actual business, and I, I try to explain to them, like, well, okay, if you, if you actually even want to do that, you need to study the business of it, you need to study the, the sort of, um, horticulture, you need to study, you know, the, the, the science behind, um, all that, that it's not just fun and games and getting high all day, um, that, you know, if, if you're actually, if you want to create a, a life where, you know, you could do what you want and work with pot all day, then, you, you know, you just need to have the discipline for it. And um, they're gonna, and I'm sure they are gonna want people with high school diplomas and and uh, college degrees. Yeah, they're not just gonna let anybody start farming now, like you know. Oh yeah, and then you have so much, uh, so much uh, of the the legalities that you have to deal with. Um, you have so much of the um, security, because I mean, obviously, if you're gonna be doing something like that, you want to make sure that people aren't, uh, you know, sneaking in and kind of stealing your crop in the middle of the night. That's one of the reasons that. And you know what they do with the weed that um like it's got they test it, and it's got to be a certain percentage of THC, and you know the weed we get back here that's chronic and that's the you know what I mean that we love. Yeah. That's junky weed they get rid of like that it doesn't pass. So yeah. That's how we get it. Yeah, I smoked the shit out in California, that was uh, just fantastic, and it was like, whenever I whenever I'd gotten some of it, it was the first time in just ages that I even had a chance to smoke because I moved out there I didn't know anybody and uh, uh, the guy I was living with I won't name him I, I want to but he'd get mad at me and I've just recently made amends with this guy so why'd you go out there 
just to try to go out so, there and I figured maybe if I was out there there'd be more opportunities for me in terms of the art but it was a complicated situation and um, yeah like I, I wouldn't say it was a mistake but things didn't work out the way I would hope they did I've never met you yeah, I know but um, yeah I got to smoke some really good California bud um, that was uh, it was just the excess that uh, a guy who was a grower had. So my nephew said it's sixty bucks an ounce out there, the chronic. No, I'm, no, I, that's bullshit. I believe him. I mean, they're working right there on the farm, so maybe if maybe if they're buying it, like if they're working on the farm and they're well, buying yeah, it directly sure from the place they work, they can get that. But he told not, me sixty bucks an ounce. No, I paid like. I think like 250 for an ounce. That's what like we that. pay here. Yeah, Probably. but it was an ounce of like super good shit. Never mind. Just shut up, Twyla. <laughs> real, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What were you going to say? Nothing. Oh, no. Hiding things already. Just little things. Just little things. It's okay. I don't hide anything. You better not. I'm very open... Even on so even on social media, I'm I'm open to my own detriment at times. Yeah. Yeah, because I just I don't find any point in trying to act like something I'm not. And there's so many like everybody is, every artist you see on Twitter or anywhere, Instagram promoting their stuff. It's all there. There's not really a whole lot of substance there. There's a lot of uh, people. I don't know. People trying to act safe, and that's and sometimes that's you gotta boring. act safe to yeah. or act safe and not let people know who the real you are or mm. is because I have no choice. I mean, I already have a reputation. I might Do as well. You? I, I might as well play into it. I've had a reputation since at least uh, 2009, whenever I got kicked out of the uh, Zuda contest. So. Uh, such a badass. No, not really. I've just been unmedicated most of my life. Uh, let's see. But yeah, the good. I mean, the, I mean, the end result was like I actually own Thunder Chickens now. What Warner Brothers would have owned my property had I not gotten kicked out of it. So it's actually it all worked out for the best. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Fuck Warner Brothers. You, oh my god, you hear like Warner Chapel is going to put a copyright claim on this now just for you saying fuck Warner Brothers. Is that bad? Yeah, and they're going to try to monetize. I'm this, just kidding, I love Warner Brothers. Shit. No. Warner Chapel is just a. Uh, they do. Uh, they go through and. Um, search for videos that they can put copyright claims on there. There was a big hullabaloo about um, a Star Wars fan film that they attempted to put a copyright claim on uh, so that they could monetize it and make money off of it. And, um, yeah, I guess uh, it, it, thankfully uh, Disney stepped up and said, no, uh, we're not going to let you do that because we own this shit and um, uh, struck down the copyright claim, wow. but Warner Chapel was like the most notorious in terms of um, the companies doing the um, false copyright claims. They'll copyright claim anything that they can, and they just do a shotgun method uh, of doing it so that uh, no matter what, some of them, you know, people don't even fight because they're like, well, how can I even fight this? Right, I mean, and they're not in the position to. Billion dollar company, and yeah. how could you win? I kind of like that. I don't think I'm going to leave that like that. Thank goodness the snow is melting off. I'm sick of it. You're sick of it? I've been waiting for snow. I was, but then I'm over it. Get over, over get over things real quick like that? Uh, sometimes. Oh, look out. Alright, let's see. I can do that. I want to trace something. I'm not tracing, I'm inking. Did you just call me a tracer? <laughs> oh my oh, I god. I can do that. Let me fucking do it. I use the, I use the lines to add depth and shading. Hey, Thank you bad. very much. I know you're not a tracer, but I can, I can, just let me do it. No, yeah, I'm going to let you do it here in a minute. I'm going to lock all the other layers there so you don't mess up what I already got done. 
I'll let you try and then show you and so you can see how hard it is. Yeah, I bet it is hard. You make it look real easy though. I keep flicking my lighter, not just not because I'm like. He's smoking weed. No, I was actually saying not because I'm smoking a bowl, but because uh, these cig cigars always tend to want to go out. Um, so you'll hear me flicking my lighter like a million times during the stream. Does that look clean enough from far away? Let me smooth out some of it. Amanda's here. Hey, Amanda's here. Tell Amanda to come in and join my stream. I will. Go get her. Let me see if we can get Amanda to come in. She's a very good friend of mine since we were uh, teenagers. Um, and uh, she has some interesting ideas on things, interesting things to say. So let's see if she wants to jump in and uh, jump on the stream, uh, at least while we're in here. Yeah. All right. I can hear her in there. Hello, come in. I'm leaving Rob's out in the car. So okay. I'm not saying, but. I just want to come and say hi. Alright, we'll say hi to the people watching on YouTube, or all the people not watching. Hi everyone watching, and if you're not watching, that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Alright, take care. That's my good friend Amanda. Um, see, the problem with uh, doing this from this image is uh, a lot of it is very blurry up close. So, I've got to kind of make it up as I go along a little bit. Um, well, that's not too bad. It gives me a little bit of freedom to experiment in the inks as we go. Were you in here running your mouth about? Mm, I was running my mouth about you. You was? I said, that Twyla, I don't know what to do with her. What are you going to do with me for she's real? She's like, too much for me. I think I'm going to be here. I think you are. I mean, no, you're going to be. Really think that. <laughs> I'm walking away now. I, I, I still, I still have to, uh, you still have to get used to, like, my personality always being joking. I don't think you're joking, though. Mm-mm. I'm not in that, in that specific sense, but most of the time I am. Of course, I'm joking. You fucking <laughs> See, now she's whispering threats at me. He's so full of it. No, I'm, I'm getting threatened. I thought she liked me, but, um, she just, she wants to threaten me, and, um, I don't like how slow this is running. I think I might try to restart it. I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Alright, I think I'm going to take one moment and restart the, uh, save this sketch, and I'm going to restart Autodesk. Um, so what's been on your mind lately? Twyla, what have, um, what have you been dealing with? You don't have to name any names, but you can talk about, you can talk about, like, some of the ratchet-ass people in this town. No, I don't want to. I don't know. You sure? I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm totally out. I'm trying. Well, that's the problem with being on a stream, is... You're like automatically on the spot. Yeah. It it doesn't. Uh, it yeah like you, it doesn't really matter whether or not. Uh, all right, I'm gonna close it out and I'm gonna restart it. it doesn't really matter whether or not you're ready. Like you kind of just have to make things up as you go along. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like my life. <coughs> For real. That's why I try to take notes a little bit. Yeah. So that I at least have a few ideas of what I want to talk about. Oh my, alright. Whenever I'm uh, inking digitally, I always try to choose a larger uh, brush than 
I feel that I need. Uh, one, it kind of gives you practice with having like a uh, like a gentle hand with things. But two, uh, yeah, it's, it can be easy to be way too um, way too clean and way too specific uh, uh, whenever you're doing digital links. And it's good to kind of throw yourself out of your comfort zone whenever you're working on art as much as possible. Um, at least in a way that, uh, in a way that's that... That's like your big middle finger. Uh, my middle finger's not that big. Yeah, it is. That's like, it's like Hulk hand middle finger. It's your finger. It's like a, it, it, and this is a play off of 90s characters. Uh, so it's got that, that, those huge, like, m huge muscular hands. I don't have hands like that. I have small, dainty, girly hands. Really? Because... Yeah. My hands are half the size of yours. Well, that's because you're a midget. <laughs> what people don't know is that I, I have a complete and total midget fetish, and, um, Twyla is, like, and I know midget is, um, is offensive nowadays. They like so be she's, called little people, and I'm not a little people. No, she's a dwarf. Uh, technically, she has dwarf. <laughs> I'm fucking not. Um, she has yeah, dwarf but if I was, I would love who I was, but I'm not. So. No. We're just gonna piss off all the all the all little the people. people. All the little people. It's all right. I'll fight them. I'll fight like twenty of them. I'll chop kick that motherfucker. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's horrible. You got me I was actually in jail with a midget. Yeah? Did yeah. he hold his own? Um, well, technically, I wasn't on the same pod as him, but I went to court with him one day. And um, we had, like, um, him, and then there was this dude, Kenny, Kenny Haskins. That's right, I'm going to call him out. Because that motherfucker said he was going to hire me for some work while we were in jail. And then whenever I, we got out of jail, uh, he never got at me. So, uh, Kenny Haskins uh, is a bullshitter. Go fuck yourself. He's full of shit, just like all the other guys in jail. I thought he was cool. I thought he was going to have a little bit of work for me. Uh, doing uh, murals on his uh, kids' walls. But, um, I guess he was too busy with that life. But no, we had Kenny... We had, there was another guy who was just like a, a normal sized guy. Kenny was a huge kind of ogre-ish guy. And then we had the midget and they were all standing up against the one wall in the holding cell while we were waiting to go to court. And I said it looked like a D&D &D character chart. Like you had like the dwarf, the human, and then the ogre. <laughs> like <laughs> looked like choose your character in a in a D and d style uh, MMO yeah. game. Or an MMO RPG. We still haven't had anybody tune in. We could be talking about whatever the fuck we want. People just don't care. It's too early anyway. Most people don't tune in until night. But are you doing this again later? Hmm. Are you doing, are you doing this again later? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. If I'm streaming now, then let's get on not. a podcast. Talk to your people. They're fun. Yeah, some of them were, but it depends on the topic. Like. The topic, the one night, like, I'm not going to try to, I don't want to slag on, uh, I don't want to slag on, um, oh, what is it, uh, crypto comics too much, but it was like the sexiest mo female Marvel characters, and I don't know, the one, the one dude, oh, I'm trying to think what his name is, he, he hit me up on Twitter because he loved me. But the rest of them, I felt like I was just making them uncomfortable uh, by being real. Um, and it was just, it, I don't know, it was just, it just wasn't the kind of content that I really wanted to do. Like, I came, like, whenever I, I, I gave them um, answers like uh, Wolf's Bane or Feral or uh, uh, Marrow. Which are all character like female characters that aren't sexy at all. They're they're like two of them are like half wolf, half woman, uh, and Marrow has like bones sticking out all over her body, she like is jutting. Not very out. Sexy yeah, at so all. like I was just trying to like make jokes, and like they're all like serious about talking about like the sexiest comic book women, and I just 
I don't know. It just wasn't the kind of content for me. Like, I wouldn't mind going on there again. Um, if it's something I can have fun with, but... Uh, if it's something like that, then I, I just I think I might pass. We talked about Val well, the Image Comics one was fun because I actually have I I grew up reading Image. You know what I mean? Like I I remember when Image came out, so that one was fun simply for the fact that like yeah I could have a little bit of nostalgia. Um, he did a Valiant Comics one and. Uh, I didn't even join in on that one, even though I, I got the offer to, just because I didn't know much about Valiant Comics. I didn't read them back in the day. I don't know what's going on with them now. Apparently, they're they're going all quote unquote SJW, which so yeah, that term just gets on my nerves nowadays. Like the a lot of the people who are overly concerned with <coughs> what, as I like to put them, as as I like to call them. The Jungian Groundhogs, um, commonly referred to as just SJWs. A lot of people that are overly concerned with what they're doing are people that uh, I find are either but probably closer to the same personality type, just coming at it from a different angle. Uh, they're they're instead of uh, virtue signaling, they're antagonist single signaling, uh, as I like to call it. They're, they're just wanting to be the antagonist for the sake of antagonizing and nothing else. Hmm. You probably have, you, you, like, I just spat out a bunch of stuff that is probably totally Greek to you, right? Yeah, I'm just acting like I know what I'm talking, or what you're talking about. No, you don't I'm have to. But I like hearing you talk, and I like the way you verbalize things, and you're just, I don't know. I learn something new every day. I just try to. I only, I only, I'm, I only know a lot about the stuff that I'm interested in. You don't. If I no, I only know a lot about the oh, stuff that I'm interested say, in. Yeah. In the stuff that I'm interested in, I know how little I know compared to a lot of other people. So. Um, I just the whole all the the politics on both sides, and I mean, like. I'm not talking about the politics of, like, Marvel or the politics of, uh, uh identity. I'm talking about the politics altogether in comics, uh, annoys me. And I find that people are way too, uh, overly concerned with it. Even the people who bitch about the identity politics stuff, they still feed into it. And they still are overly concerned with... Uh, antagon they're, they're just overly concerned with it in, in any way is is it's missing the forest for the trees um, just let that shit go like don't give it any credence don't give it any attention uh, don't give it any validation just by giving it any attention you're validating the existence of it whatsoever you know all right, I've just been going off the cuff so far. Let me see. Right, this that goes right there. Um, is there any? Was there any fire in front of that? Let's see. No. That goes up like that. What's that right there? Yeah. Oh no, that's the veins. Okay. Sorry, I'm still again. I'm. Um, what was that sticking out? It's supposed to be the latch. I'm sorry, I don't have the latch down. No, I'll just make that one of the veins. Alright. Um, I'll take a short little break from actually sitting down and inking and think about where I can go from here on this piece. Um, you know, start out with all the, the big, thick lines, all the heavy lines. Um, and those are usually the lines on the underside. They're usually the lines that are closer in front or that you want to uh, pop out. The thicker the line, the higher the contrast, but you have to pair that off with thin lines. Um, otherwise, you lose your depth in your piece. So right now, like, unlike a lot of uh, people, whenever they're uh, inking a piece, I'm, I'm going through and I'm doing what seems like random lines here and there, but there's a little bit of... Uh, method to it. It's all putting lines down where 
I want the, the, the highest contrast, where I want the, the, the highest uh, uh, depth to be. Um, we got his curve on his hair. Let's do the back of his head right there. That's got a nice curve to it. Let's soften it down just a little bit up here. And yeah, because of the fact that I'm still getting used to, uh, still getting used to, uh, um, the tablet, a lot of times I still take advantage of the eraser and inks. I try to, to do my best to avoid the undo button, um, but just like right there, I'm going to hit it again. Um, you like hitting it. It's because I'm anal retentive. I right? like that too. More than I. <laughs> Shit, I was just... It's not my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke alert. I can't believe you remember me telling you that. Why? I don't know. I've never been that drunk around you that I would forget something. Like that. Of course I'm not going to forget that. You're going to hold me to that shit, aren't you? We got a calendar. You might be in jail, though. Well, then uh, it'll be a, a belated birthday present. Or an early one. <laughs> Woo, we're getting dirty on the stream today. Twilight's coming out of her shell. I'm telling you, like, once once Twilight gets comfortable with streaming with me, y'all you, you, look out. It's It's over. Like, she's going to be like, listen, these motherfuckers. See, I have this stuff on this pick. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I think the first thing I'm going to do at this point is open up another, I'm going to lock this layer. I'm going to open up another layer, and I'm going to ink this fire. So let's drop down. I'm going to talk to Heather. All right, you go talk to Heather. I'll be in here. Let's drop down the size of this brush to... No, it's way too thin. It's five. Let's make it a little bit bigger than that. So we get some depth on it. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go in and um, touch up the fire. Do the fire that's in front of him. Just because uh, I want to add a... Uh, I'm going to have that done so that I can ink around it. I'm just slightly adjusting my uh, pen to get the the kind of curve I want. Now why am I not getting very much pressure sensitivity on it? Yeah, what's up with my my pressure sensitivity? Oh what's going on with my pressure sensitivity? I don't know how that happened. Alright, well at least it didn't affect too much. Yeah, because a lot of stuff that, yeah, it didn't affect anything really. Alright. Alright. That's good. Let's move it up to like 10. Alright, perfect. Now. Um. Yeah, let's go in and uh, ink this fire. I can't believe we've been on here for 48 minutes already. That's how slow that. I can. Again, my my anal retentiveness works against me so often. Uh, first off, I need to uh, clip out this a little bit. Let's unlock the layer. Uh, clip out that right there so that we can ink around it. I think everything else. I think everything else is uh, is all right. Yeah, the rest of it looks alright, so let's relock this layer. Go in. Oh, I forgot to even check the one well, now. I can see up in the corner there's been no comments. But, uh, let me check the actual stream. Um, yeah, there's not been any chats. There's not been any chats in the live chat, but if I see people are, uh, commenting because it has a little thing up in the corner of my screen that lets me know then I'll do my best to uh, to respond to the comments because um, I know people like that sort of interaction I know I do whenever I'm 
tuning into somebody's live stream to have the audience interaction through the chat. Alright, let's start again. Again, my anal retentiveness gets the best of me. program seems to be running a little bit smoother now, so... I don't like it. I want to go from thin to thick. Right there. I'm starting to get a little bit more warmed up. Although we did spend 10 minutes setting up, so that's not that bad. Alright. Um, any other fire, even though it's in front of the uh, thing, because of the. Because we want to get across that the fire is. Um, not as solid, then we're going to use a thinner line in front of these thicker lines, which will actually give us a nice contrast, you know what I mean, uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, it doesn't always have to be close, thick, far away, thin. Uh, sometimes having a thinner line in front of thicker lines can give uh, a nice contrast to what you're trying to get across. Uh, oh, pardon me. There's that beer working its way up. And yeah, we were a little bit too drunk whenever we were on here last night. So um, I imagine we were we were just being. Uh, a ridiculous mess. Though a few people did tune in. Uh, I was actually surprised. I'm, I'm not used to people tuning in live yet. Um, and I know doing this uh, during the day, like I, I don't even know if anybody will tune in. Uh, but uh, I figured it was worth uh, kind of warming up on something today that I wa I've wanted to get done for a while. I was really happy with the way this piece was coming out. And then, yeah, things happened. I ended up having to do a month in Beaver County Jail. And I still might have to do two months, but um, I've got it set up so that even if I do two months, I'm going to be drawing in the jail and having people post up on my Twitter for me the stuff that I'm drawing in jail. So, uh... Um, yeah, that, uh, worst case scenario, I will still have art being posted up on my Twitter and on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, um, let's hope it doesn't have to come to that, but if it does, we're going to make it interesting. Uh, I'm just going to have to buy a whole bunch of stamps in my commissary, um, so that I can, uh, be keep uh, keep some fresh art out there while I am incarcerated a lot of people have asked what I uh, went to jail for well well not on live on the streams um, but uh, afterwards and I've I've been maybe a little avoidant of that um, simply because it was actions that happened while I was unmedicated and attempting to get my lithium back. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly proud of the way things went down, but at the same time, I, again, I'm maybe honest to my own detriment sometimes, and that's one that I think I'll keep a little close to the vest for a while, though I'm sure sure if I get any uh, amount of notoriety, someone will dig it up and uh, try to make me uh, look like a villain because of it, but 
I'm willing to accept that uh, possibility. Uh, thankfully, right now, I'm not important enough for anybody to care. Um, and, uh, you know, I did say um, I want to be a dangerous artist, so... Uh, I don't think you can get much more dangerous than that. Plus, you know, a lot of my... Um, a lot of my artists and writer heroes don't come from comics, um, and they actually did have balls, and uh, they actually did, uh, some of them had to do uh, jail time, so um, for me it's just, uh, it's just what happens whenever you're actually living life and not constantly playing it safe at everything. Uh, sometimes you, uh, sometimes you cross lines, and, um, you know, it doesn't mean that, uh, I wish things hadn't happened the way they happened, but sometimes even some of the bad stuff that happens has to happen so that better things can fall into place. I know that sounds cliche, that sounds like the kind of shit that uh, some dopey girl would post up on her Facebook, uh, but it's true, um, you can't just take, you, you don't just get to pick just the good, and in, in, especially in ourselves, you don't get to just take the best parts of yourself and deny the worst, uh, and I, uh, I do my best to, to be very uh, honest about the worst parts of myself, and, um, I'm doing my best to work against those parts of myself, uh, nowadays, and a lot of that has to do with, uh, staying on lithium, a lot of it has to do with, um, uh, making sure that, uh, the things that I'm engaging in socially or online are uh, healthy for me to engage in. Like I, I don't get too caught up in the bullshit um, that I see in terms of the identity politics and stuff online because uh, he would just, it would do nothing but drive me mad. My friend uh, Twyla has returned. She gets upset that I call her my good friend, my lovely friend. Well? Well. Why would that upset you? I don't know. Things are still, things are still new with, yeah. with us. Yeah, we're taking it slow and, yeah. Uh, but there's been a couple times where I've said my friend and you're like, friend? <laughs> yeah, I'm so my very good, my very lovely friend. I like that. Some, some Vicks. Huh? Some Vicks. Is it? Yeah. What can you do with that? Mm, rub it on your chest and titty fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nasty. Let's just use Vaseline. Fuck that smelly stuff. Yeah, Vaseline. Why does everybody say... Why does everybody jump to Vaseline? Because they nobody want to play Vicks out. That one... Of course not. I, that was a joke. But Vaseline is for amateurs. It's coconut oil all the way. Coconut oil is nice and soft and like, yeah. Yeah, and it melts on skin and it's that's sexy as fuck. Watching some coconut oil melt on a girl's skin. Let's get some. Well, let me get this uh, down payment on this commission uh, yeah, we'll get a later big, like, today. Gallon jug of it. Get a gallon jug of it and <laughs> just get a slip and slide and just like sit the no, bed No, a up. shower curtain, a brand new shower curtain. Just throw it right over the bed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm serious. Alright. Notes for today. Get uh, get a gallon jug of coconut oil. Get a shower curtain. A new one. A new one. Not a used one. That's what LL Cool J does to spice up his um, love life since they've been together for so many, I don't mean how many fucking decades. But that's what he said. You guys want to spice it up? Get a... A shower curtain, some baby oil, and yeah. Fuck baby oil. Well, I'm just saying, now it's coconut oil, but... Baby oil is for amateurs. See, now we got you opening up. Sure you don't want a beer? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sure. Thank okay, I'm being a bad influence on Twyla. No, you're not. Um, Let's see. All right, so um, that's 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 what you that's what you open up about is talking about sex. No, so. what, we shouldn't even be talking about that on there. You guys. Just... Why? God. Who's gonna tune in? They they probably will tune in if we start talking about that. Well, we still don't have any uh, live viewers, so. But um, we got 12 views on the one from last night, so people actually did check it out at least. I only got like 30. I we I gained two uh, two subscribers. Oh yeah. Yeah, I gained two subscribers, and from I that went from 32 to 34. That's what's up. Yeah, so. That's how. That's what. That's that's how big of a deal I am. I gained a whole two subscribers. Maybe you are a big deal. I These doubt, people don't even know it yet. I am by no means a big deal. Yes, you are. Nor do I want to be. I, I just want to. I just want to make comics that people like and have a good life doing it. I have no interest in being a big deal in anybody's eyes. Well, you are in mine, so. Oh, thank you, darling. <coughs> You're too sweet to me. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm trying to think of what I can ask you about that doesn't, uh, that you would still be comfortable with. Nothing. 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 Tra la la. Do you know what that quote's from? No. You don't know that. Say it again. Nothing? Nothing? Tra-la-la? -la. Lord of the Rings or some crap like that? Labyrinth. Is it like Lord of the Rings? You've never seen Labyrinth? Oh my god. How? How have you never seen Labyrinth? You're like my age. I don't know. That's, that's a, that's a, that's what a was sin. That, what was that movie with the, um, the trio? What the fuck? That dog thing that flew, um... Talking about the never ending story? Yeah, yeah. That's what the... The giant dog, the luck dragon. Yeah, is that what it was? Falcon! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't believe you've never seen fucking Labyrinth. That... I probably have. I just probably didn't pay attention. Alright, I'm going to, uh. I'm gonna fix. Uh. An issue that I can see coming up. Mm. And that is, I'm gonna close off these uh these fire sections so that I can select all of them then invert the selection and then I can ink all around the fire without actually having to worry about erasing what goes across into the fire so let me make sure I got yeah that's all the fire so let me see if I can select just those um I don't know if, if it'll do it whether it'll do it let me close off just the tiniest little bit there. Let me close off. Let's get a ruler. Let's get the, let's get, let's get the ruler. That's another handy thing about this program. It has this nifty little ruler. But it can be hard to set things up perfectly. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we've closed off, I think, make sure I'm going to look closed because when you're inking fire, there can be open little bits. I am, and it's just, just out of my process, I'm so anal retentive about closing my lines because having to, uh, having to, um, use the, uh, line art to select for flatting, uh, a lot of times I, uh, uh, yeah, like I, I would use the line art to make my flats. So like I always, I, I I see like a lot of people leave like open lines in their work. Let's see how far we can push that because I want to get across. Let's deselect all that. Let's see how far I can push that if it's gonna select just the flame. Um. Yeah, I think that's about, that's worth, that's good. Now let's, I'm going to invert that and make it a selection. So it's selecting everything but the fire. 
Uh, let's make a new layer and let's uh, just do it like that and then make it fill. deselect and see where we go from there all right got a good edge on it I'm gonna lock this layer and get rid of the opacity but I can select that and it will select everything but the fire when I'm inking around his arm all right Switch modes again. Um, let's see. I need to add some more thick lines on the bottom. Uh, I'll probably do some of the veins in his arm. I'll probably do a little bit more work on the hands. So let's bring it up to about 17 in terms of the size of our. We could do that. Uh, First off, let's wait, unlock that layer. Let's merge that down. Let's start a new layer just because. And uh, yeah, I think we'll start inking. Let's see how thick this is. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's just change everything back to black. so you know retentive whenever it comes to my line art even though like most people aren't even going to notice the difference between what I see is right and what you know what is wrong yeah I think that was originally supposed to be the uh, the nub uh, the little clasp on the belt poking out just gonna make that clasp falling down and then uh, let's do that with a slightly more thinner line I think we're not even going into the flame so it should be a perfect selection for that all right take a second I'm gonna save where we're at now just to be safe, because you never know when things are going to crash on you. <laughs> you try to uh, try to save as often as possible, because. Uh, I knew that person was going to be covered. What? <laughs> I was just calling, and then I looked at that list. And I was like, she's got to be from here. Yeah, it's on. She's on my sister's friends list. Never mind. Shut your mouth. She's on. Uh, she's she's on my friends list too. Well, why was it? Just because. You are, you got any tea? Hot takes from Twyla. Hot takes. Giving us, giving us the heat. Talking smack on the uh, Toothless Broads in New Cumberland, West Virginia. I'm gonna get beat up, watch. Are you kidding me? None of those people are gonna tune in. Can I say her name? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, we're not saying her name. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. First off, let's erase this little bit out of there. I'm switch back up to this one. Where can we go from here? Well, first off. I'm going to do that. 
and then erase out. Actually, I'm going to erase that bit out because I wanted that to be thicker. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting them before before Twyla gets them. Alright, and then uh, from here. I learned to be less anal retentive in my inks. Like watching me digitally ink this is probably like watching old people fuck. Uh, but I don't know. It works. It works for me. Not digitally inking, but watching old people fuck always works for me. Let's go watch ourselves. Hmm. Let's go watch ourselves. You watch ourselves. Yeah. What you want us to make a sex tape? We could, in fact. Why not? <laughs> no, because it would take you too long to set it up. <laughs> Forget that. Just... <laughs> there we go. With the with the hot burns. Twi Twila. I keep wanting to say your, I keep almost saying your last name. Twyla, Twyla, Twyla Delala. With the heat. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? She's making fun of me because I took so long to set up the. Uh, every time. Every time. Because I took so long to set up every time. No, I took so long to set up the uh, stream last night that she was like, I'm falling asleep. Let's see, what can we do from here? I want to get thicker lines on the bottom of these mutton chops. What's up? Hmm? Just run in my mouth. Quietly, quietly where nobody can hear me. Yeah, this mic picks up everything. I'll just read, listen to it. Mm -hmm. specific current that I want to capture. Alright, that one came out pretty good. Right, I'm trying to think of all the other places. Or I could use this super thick. I think I might make the uh, the line on the bottom side of his chin even thicker, uh, just to uh, just to give contrast. Where because that's a big chin. That's a, that's a massive chin. All right. Now I have to go in. Um, I'm gonna drop that down. I'm gonna make a new one and I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit so that I can do the detail on say his uh, his arms uh, around the lines uh, and then still see the uh, veins underneath so I want to be that thing. I'll just erase that out. Alrighty, um, yeah, let's do some of this detail on his muscles, his muscles. I want that one to be a little bit thinner. Not that thin. So, um, you said you hate living in a small town. I wouldn't say hate, it's just like a culture shock, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you said you lived in Parkersburg before. Is Parkersburg big? Like, it's the second biggest city in West Virginia. Mm, I did not know that. Yeah. 
It's got like four sides of the town, like east side, west side, north side. South side. <laughs> South side. But yeah, it's a pretty big town and coming here to, to, you know. So what do you hate about living in a small town? It's, this word travels fast, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We have He found. said, she said bullshit, like happens an awful bit, or awful lot. You know. I can't go to the gas station about, you know, without hearing about my, you know, my own personal shit that's going on in my life like everybody knows. I mean, everybody knows so much, like, the guy at the dollar store is asking me out. You know what I mean? Like, that's weird. Well, he obviously doesn't know enough, then. Right? <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's, flip, let's, let's, let's flip it, then. What do you like about living in a small town? Uh, I'm not a few good people, and that's it. That's the only thing I like about it. It's the few people I have that made it home. You know what I mean? Made it seem like it's kind of like home. Just gotta have good people in your corner. It doesn't matter where you're at. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> I just asked little Twilight to move her leg off my chair because he tapped me like, uh, yeah. I know it was so rude. I'm sorry. Well, it's just that a lot of people don't even think about that, like that. Uh, like, yeah, that, uh, it, it, that is one of the problems I had, uh, I dealt with, like, uh, specifically whenever I was in jail, was, uh, people that would, like, sit down at a table I was drawing at, and then they'd just shake the shit out of the table, mm. uh, and it's just like, I don't know, like, I'll, I'll try to be cool about it, but eventually you just want to be quit shaking the fucking table, man. I'm trying to draw. Like, I have to have a little bit of steadiness. All right, all those can be done with uh, smaller lines. We'll do that one. I have to remember to switch over to my brush every... Yeah, when are we going? I don't know. You gonna go home? Mm -hmm. You can go home if you want to. I'm just going to be sitting here streaming for a while. Okay. What you going to get into? Mm. Stuff. Probably nothing. Okay. Well, you don't have to sit here while I stream if you don't want to. I don't mind watching you do your thing. I like it. It's interesting. Yeah, I know, but I don't want you just watching me. That's why I figured. That's why I figured I'd had go online and um, you could sit here and bullshit with me a little bit. But if you want to head out, you can head out. I want to. Alrighty, dear. Well, Twyla's heading out. Say bye, Twyla, to all the people bye. not watching. Could take a piss break because uh, the beer is going through me. Um, but I'm starting to get somewhere. Just with all these veiny bits. Uh, I wanted to use this lighter, the lighter gray in the. Uh, inking some of it uh, so that uh, I could easily see where the veins, especially on the arms down there, is going to be the, the most in-depth part. So as of right now, I'm going to take a little piss break and I'm going to put on some music. And we'll get back to streaming. Just a little stream of pee. I'm gonna go take a piss. 
and let's put on some music while I'm doing that. Actually, I don't even have my, uh, no, I didn't mean to hit X on that. Oh, don't stop it. No, I actually blew it out. All right, well, you know what? Let's open it back up. Wait for, because I wouldn't mind putting some music on in the background, and it's all stuff that I made, so it's all stuff that, uh, every right to, uh, Stuff that I have every right to, uh, play. Alright. One second. Alright. Get rid of my SoundCloud. And... No, I didn't mean to go back. Uh... This is... I'm stumbling over myself because I got pee so goddamn bad. That didn't take long. It took longer for me to fucking set things up to go take a piss than it did to actually piss. Um, so. I'm turn the music down. I'm going to play a little bit in the background. Uh, just for some element of... Uh, it might help me get into the groove a little bit better. Um, all right, let's see. I want to do some of the line art on his muscles. And the veiny stuff. I'm trying to do all the stuff that takes a thicker line or that's in the bottom before I go in and change uh, my brush to a thinner one. I mean, one obvious one right there is, uh, uh, this muscle. Uh, and then the way the muscle overlaps there, you go from thick to thin to show depth coming out of it. Alright, now... 
some of those. We want to use thinner doubled up lines. So I'm going to ink these uh, ink these muscles down here. A lot of these muscles I'm just really making up as I go along. Um, they're not intended to be realistic by any standard or any stretch of the imagination. I'm getting way really too inward tentative on my lines. to inks or in this case some of these were actual digital inks that I'm just basically kind of reusing as pencils uh, along with the uh, looser pencils 
because uh, I liked a lot of what was there. And I'm not necessarily trying to recreate it um, perfectly as much as I'm just trying to get the same thing across in it. Um, let's go over this arm. I'm still on the eraser. Selection made like that where you can uh, keep from keep from inking over top of stuff that uh, you, know, you don't want where you don't want the inks to go. That looks like it was all thin lines, so I'm gonna leave that as it is right there and do a few more of these. Um, Lines that can be a little bit thicker. That was a nice smooth one right there. Let's erase out the. I'm still using that thick ass brush, but just it takes a minute to start. And plus, like you, you can do a, a, a stroke one way with a uh, thick brush, and it'll come out sloppy, and you do it the opposite way, and it comes out nice and smooth. So sometimes it's just knowing which way to actually stroke the pen uh, to a certain extent um, depending on what you're trying to achieve with it um, and again I'm still getting used to this tablet but I'm also I also have that bad habit of wanting to hit the undo button over and over and over again uh, so I can't blame it all on just getting used to the tablet some of it is just my anal retentiveness uh, coming through. Alright, I think that's good right there. And the rest with that we can do with some thinner lines. Uh, did we erase out all the veins? Yeah, I think we got all the veins erased out. Alright, let me see. Now, I'm going to move to a slightly thinner brush, but first Let's bring this back up to 100% so we can see all blacks. I really like this jack. A lot of this stuff I made with uh, a Music Maker app. Uh, so it's like taking samples from a lot of different uh, other songs, like indie stuff. But I never heavily sampled from any individual track. I would just find elements of each that I liked. Um, so it's as close to an original piece as I can get uh, sampling. Uh, so I really enjoy them. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. I try not to have to worry about talking too much. Instead just uh, see if I can get to the zone on some of this.
Plus having a, um, a thick brush, even on the really thin stuff, like, it just allows you a little bit more depth than you would get uh, when using a brush that was too thin. As the ladies say, better too thick than too thin. Actually, I don't know if they say that. I don't think they do. I don't think anybody says that. Because I had so much of this inked and done and ready to go, and it was also uh, with my Cintiq, which I am much more used to, much more prolific on than I am on the uh, tablet. 
tablet, however, allows me to be more mobile, which is one of its major benefits. Um, it, uh, it allows me to work from almost anywhere. to do with the fact that the uh, the desktop I had was a, is a pretty good desktop uh, so it was way more reactive uh, than this thing gets uh, there's some punk rock we made when I was younger me on both guitars. I think that's a, an apt soundtrack fitting for uh, working on uh, Brutus, the, Brutus the Badass piece. Some good old fashioned punk rock. These ones never stay lit. I don't think I've had anybody tune in live, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep going with it. And then, by the time I finish this up, I'll be warmed up for it. How much of that is. Let's just back off. This one I am going to change because it's basically a Radiohead song that I recut to be a beat. And I wouldn't want, to, I wouldn't want anybody to uh, be able to take us down just for that. So uh, let me switch to the next track. Swipe, undo, swipe, undo, and I'm trying to get used to actually taking the time to just lay out the lines slowly instead of uh, just trying to swipe them down. But I also feel like, let's see, I think that's part of his. <laughs> We're gonna leave it as is. Um, but yeah, like I think that. In order to get energy in your work, you have to put energy into your work, and sometimes having uh, lines that you put down fast can give speed and energy and excitement to the line art in a piece, um, whereas being too slow and calculated can drain the energy from a piece. I'm hoping that uh, there's a good balance between my voice and the music that's playing, because I don't know, I suppose we can find out. 
take a moment and check my phone and find out if uh, if the music is too loud. It's not terrible, but I turned it down a little bit anyway, um, just to make sure that everything's coming through clear, because I know sometimes I, I can be a soft talker at times, which is funny because I can be so goddamn loud that, yeah, at times I can mumble a bit and speak softly a bit, too much for my own good. Someone's knocking at the door, good thing I don't have to answer, because I don't want to have to deal with anybody. On a, this is a beat that's mostly just uh, based on a kalimba solo that uh, somebody did on YouTube and I just dropped a beat in behind it and I thought it sounded so just nice uh, that yeah I want to use it for an upcoming music project that I plan on doing sometime in the next year or so I planned on doing it sooner, but just so much had been happening in, uh, so much had been happening in my life, and there was just way too much, uh, cacophony in my brain to get anything together, much less, like, you know, a new music project, but when I do finally get it together, this is the, uh, this is one of the tracks that I want to use on it, uh, just because I think it's a really... Uh, it works really well as a beat, and I love the sound of that instrument, the kalimba, the, uh, the song is, uh, the song I pulled it from on YouTube is called Kalimba Solo, or Lotus Solo for Kalimba, so... some of the top lines we want to go from thin to thick right here on this muscle and I keep missing it. streaming live, working on uh, this piece for Donald. Um, before I do that, let's, uh, let's leave this buckle hanging down here.
This was just a weird little experimental thing I did with a loop pedal. Like somebody's tuning in. Which there's one viewer. Let's say hi in the chat. I'm not sure who is tuning in. But uh, somebody is. Which is good because that makes me want to keep going. Instead of just uh, saying, yeah, I'll finish it some other day. Because I wanted to get this done for a while now. Especially when inking, it can be good to take a moment to just uh, um, just just look at a piece and, and go and see what you've done already, and then see what you want to do next. I mean, really, anytime it's, there's, it's always good to take a moment just to step back and um, figure out where you want to go, what your next move is. I mean, that can be applied to uh, a lot of things in life, um, but especially in art. Um, the, um, especially in art, there's a, uh, you see people kind of wanting to rush to get things done, to rush to the end result, 
And uh, that's not always the best way to go about things. Sometimes it's good uh, to... Uh, sometimes it's good to just take a moment and um, actually think about like where you want to go with it. Um, Otherwise, you, you'll you look at it after the fact, and you'll see that you rushed through certain things. Um, and you'll look at it and see that you, uh, you know, oh, I wish I would have uh, done this better, or I wish I would have, like, you know, uh, been more patient in, 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 in another aspect of it. Um, uh, and I guess that goes back to uh, the whole bland art thing that I even, the, the reason I even decided to stream last night, um, and wanted to talk about a little bit today is, I think working purely on deadlines, deadlines can be great, uh, especially when they're self-imposed deadlines, but working purely for the deadline can be so limiting in that you're working to get it done, you don't really grow as much um, when you're just trying to rush things out. Now, having a deadline can make you work on your shorthand uh, a lot more, but the sort of deadlines that I see in um, uh, mainstream comics, uh, it feels like uh, it causes people to take shortcuts and not learn shorthand, uh, and there is a difference. A shortcut is like a quick way to get to um, the a, a, a end result that usually uh, loses a bit of quality. Shorthand um, is something that you learn and it's something that uh, it, it becomes part of your your tool set uh, in your techniques and in your process. Uh, Kirby, you know, obviously was like the king of shorthand. Um, so, uh, you know, the... Uh, you can see um, shorthand in Kirby's work all over the place, but it never looked like he was really taking um, shortcuts. Um, it always looked like he was drawing in his own visual language, you know, um, as opposed to uh, like the shortcuts like uh, tracing reference uh, without actually knowing how to trace without it looking like tracing. All right, we're picking the tablet up again, and um, we're going to see where we can go from here. I think first, let's drop this down to like 10, and let's just do these lines right here. Some nice, smooth, slow lines to get us back into it. And start fucking talking like Bob Ross while I'm making. Some nice smooth slow lines. Just some little slow patient lines to get us back into inking. Um, I'm going to start out really thin on that one. And that's one of the interesting things whenever you use a thicker brush than is necessary is you sometimes surprise yourself with how uh, much uh, thin to thick you can get on your line work. Um, I don't like that last one. Uh, Alright, that's good. It's got like a nice sort of fractal radiating grid pattern. So I don't know whether it's uh, registering me as the person tuning in because I'm uh, viewing it on my... Uh, because I'm viewing it on my, uh, uh, how do you say, on my phone to keep track of the chat, or if it's, uh, uh, if somebody else actually is tuning in live. But if you are tuning live, um, feel free to say hi in the chat. Um, I would love to uh, interact with you a little bit and, um, you know, uh, chat with you live on here about, I mean, why you would even tune into, um, why, why you would even tune into my channel, um, other than Donald DeLay did, uh, me the great, uh, service of retweeting it because I was working on his character, Brutus the Badass, which, that's why I wanted to get this, I'm so happy with, um, the way this 
piece was going whenever I was working on it, but I was just not really in a good place mentally, um, obviously. Um, so uh, I wanted to actually be able to, to come back to it with some fresh eyes and a fresh mind. Alright, there we go. Alright, now I have to do those slow lines again. And then we're going to mess it all up by adding in all these, uh, how would you say, all these uh, lines, these like kind of stress lines of the fabric. So we've got those in there. Now let's go ahead and we're going to drop that layer down and uh, make a new layer so that we're always working. Like anytime we're happy with, uh, anytime we're happy with um, the way things look uh, in a layer in inks, especially, it's good to um, it's good to um, just drop it all down into like have a finished inked layer and then have a new layer that you're, you're starting fresh from where you're not going to be messing up the stuff that you're already happy with. So that being said, let's see if we can fuck this up. Um, Alright, there we go. Now we're starting to go. Let's bring it back up to like 13. No, not 18. 13 is good. Alright. Um, I think we ran out of our music on uh, my SoundCloud. I don't want to sit there and just replay my SoundCloud music. Um, but it was starting to get me in the zone. I'm trying to think of what what music we could play that wouldn't uh, ping off anybody's uh, uh, that wouldn't ping off anybody's uh, Hey, somebody liked it. I think we do have somebody viewing because I'm seeing it pop up on my screen now where it wasn't before. Um, I'm trying to think of what kind of music we could play that's not going to ping Warner Chapel uh, wanting to butt rape us for um, a fucking video that's not even going to be monetized. Um, let me do a little think thicker on this overlap right here. So, just one moment. And then I might look at the, uh, look at some, putting on some more music. Um, even stuff like Gogo Bordello is mainstream enough nowadays that somebody's going to ping it. I might just play more from, some, from my SoundCloud. My boy Russ would make more music, I would play his stuff. Actually, I know what I can play. My boy Lucas is an amazing folk singer, and musician, and songwriter. And uh, I think I might play some of his stuff, so let me take a moment to bring that up. And uh, I think those. Those cloth lines look good. We'll add some more texture to that here in just one moment, but I want to bring up my boy Lucas's stuff. Um, so give me just one moment. I wonder if is he on SoundCloud? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is. So uh, let me search. Yep, that's my boy Lucas. All right. Oh, and he's got a lot of good. He's got a lot of good stuff on here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna play all the way through his shit. Another one of that one. This is my boy Lucas. He's a great uh, folk singer, musician, songwriter, and um, 
It's also something that's not going to ping anybody's copyright, and I know he'll have no problem with me using it, and because I'll I'll let him know. Nice having friends who are musicians. So you can use their music in your live streams. Push is that uh, thankfully it wasn't this. But speaking of which, let's save while we're thinking of it. I was thinking of the wrong layer anyway. Right. I'm going to save the current sketch. hours now.
don't like how long it's taking to save. And that always gets me worried. Well, at least the, uh, I know the live stream is still going. I don't know if it ever fucks up while I'm live streaming with the uh, saving, but you know the tablet doesn't really have like a great amount of memory. So. I suppose I should go back and listen to some of these more often. Sure that I'm still streaming and everything because it's taking a while to save. Alright, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're still streaming. Alright. Let's open it back up. Make our selection. Try to get this shit done on this uh, on this one uh, on this arm. Yeah, let's go and let's do the veiny stuff. Let's, let's finish off this hand and we'll work our way down from there. That sounds good. Lucas, your music is depressing. I like it though. There you go again. Wondering why. And if you're curious about the music, this is Lucas A. H A Y. Um, I easily found him on SoundCloud, but he's a friend of mine on Facebook too. It just didn't take me very long to search him out. Um, so if you like what we're listening to, uh, check out Lucas Hay on SoundCloud. He's also on YouTube. Um, he's, uh, I think he's got a Facebook page. And he does some great folk music. Looks like somebody is tuning in. Uh, tuning in, feel free to chat in the live chat. And now I'll do my best to respond. I know last night I uh, uh, overlooked some of the chats that came in. Um, I'll have to figure this out and do this for a while. I might see if we can figure out that super chat thing. I'm just doing it just as a means of having content to put out there, really, and it also keeps me working. If I have the idea that somebody might be tuning in, then I tend to not take breaks. Uh, I tend to just keep kind of pushing through and trying to get more done on a piece.
I think this is the one that I really like. Yeah, I like this song. I met uh, Lucas while I was in the cult that I wrote about in the um, Bleeding Cool article that I did, uh, How to Use Superheroes to Avoid Cult Indoctrination. So, um, he's definitely singing from uh, some genuine experience uh, whenever he sings about, um, you know, his struggles with uh, drugs and stuff. Uh, I've known him for a while. Um... And, uh, I don't think I'd, I don't think he would uh, mind too much me talking about that because he talks about it in his music. But I won't go into details, but I just know that he's uh, he's had his struggles. Um, and uh, he puts it in the music, which, uh, you know, trying to put any of that sort of pain into a creative endeavor is. Uh, Probably the best way that you can cope with it if you uh, can't cope in the traditional ways. Um, yeah, I'll get you charged your doll. Um, I'll get back to her in just one second. But yeah, he's, he's singing from a lot of hard-won experience. Uh, he sings about a lot of that stuff. Um, and I even, uh, I even know what he means by hostage. That was some of the terminology they used in the cult. They were like, well, you didn't, you didn't uh, love this person. You just held him hostage. Uh, which uh, can be true for some people. Um, Some of the terminology he's using is uh, uh, comes straight out of uh, my experience at the uh, Uniontown Saturday Night Cult in U Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Uh, and I spent a lot of time with Lucas up there. Uh, so he's a good friend of mine, and I, uh, I'm just glad to see him making music. Of course, I found a dead mouse in a mouse trap, and I used to always call it a mouse. So every time I find a dead mouse, I worry that that's a bad omen that I'm going to find out something bad happened to Lucas. So, Lucas, if you're out there, I'm probably not watching this. But, uh, I need to hit you up and make sure you're alright.
finish the inks on this another day though because I do need to get some other stuff done today. But I'm going to try to get as much done before I hang it up for the night. I'll hang up the stream. Um, tomorrow is going to be a lot of uh, 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 There. 
the Thank you. 